Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you the process how to connect a mechanical limit switch or a home switch to the Pokies 57 CNC controller. I have a customer that is having some difficulty connecting the Z-axis home switch and this is a good opportunity to show how the process goes. I'm only going to be using the power from the computer so I'm going to go ahead and connect that now and you'll see that We'll have a red LED that lights up, a green LED that lights up, and then another green LED that shows status or blinking. The home and limit switches pins are located in this connector and along this batch of terminals. These terminals are for the far end limit switch, which is like the X++, Y++, Z++. And they're separate from these because the home switch and the near limit switch are generally the same. This row here, the first row, is the home switches starting from the first pin being ground and the next pin is X, next pin is Y, next pin is Z and the reason why there's so many of them is because this controller can have eight motors so essentially eight axes. So let's take a look at the pinout and we can find that going to build your CNC and under the, uh, let's see, if you go here and you click on CNC controllers, you'll have this as a selection and this has all of the information you'll need for this controller. You have the, the layout of the board, you have the pinouts and some questions and answers and also a lot of videos on how to do almost everything on the controller. I also have one for limit switches but I want to do this one because I want to do it from complete scratch because this customer is having uh, some issues so I want to show it from like from just having Mach 3 loaded that's it so you can see here that there are four grounds number one is a ground number two is a ground number 19 is a ground and number 20 is a ground so the one we're looking at is the axis number three home and that's going to be pin number 14 right here you can count them like this, one, two, three, four. So these are the evens, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, which is axis three or axis Z. And then you can have this as 20, which is, this is 14, 16, 18, and 20. So I'm gonna be connecting 20 and 14 together, not using an actual limit switch, but just showing you right on the controller, connecting pin, uh, pin 20 and pin 14. And I'm going to be using a connector like this as a demonstration. So this is just a simple connector. It's a female connector on both ends of a single wire. So one end is going to go here. That's ground. And then I'm going to connect number 14 once I get the configuration made in the Mach 3. So let's go ahead and start there. I'm going to start the Mach 3 loader, which is how I generally start Mach 3. And you can see that there are profiles here. I'm going to start from a completely new profile. So I'm going to create profile. I want the default values. And I'm going to call this Pokey's uh, Home. Since this is just going to be used once and I'm going to just do this as a demonstration. So let's go ahead and press OK. And you can see Pokey's Home is here. Press OK. And I'm going to always agree to that. And I'm going to agree to all terms. OK, so I don't have the plugin on in Mach 3 so I'm gonna restart Mach 3 after I put the plugin in the plugins folder. I'm gonna end session and to get the plugin we can go back to the Pokies product page. I'm gonna download Mach 3 plugin and manuals. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and you can see the, the Pokies plugin is right here. So I'm gonna open up my Mach folder which is under the C drive generally and Mach 3. I want to go into the plugins folder and I'm going to just drag this file into the pl plugins folder. So now I have the pokies.dll which is the plugin for this controller and once I start Mach 3 the pokies home profile and press OK I'm going to be presented with this new dialog which shows pokies polabs and then the uh, the version. I can click on this if I don't want this to be asked again and 
appropriately so because in this instance this is a brand new profile only dedicated to this controller it's okay and this is going to show the e-stop being invoked invert maybe clicked so right now it's it's unclicked uh, or it was clicked so it was correct if I press OK you can see that it won't get out of this mode so it needs to be inverted to get out of that press OK and I can get out of reset okay so I want to go to the configure plugins and I'm going to go to the pulse engine settings and in the pulse engine settings you'll see this area here is for the X Y Z A B and C axes for the limits and the home so right now this shows red I'm going to go ahead and invert it because right now it's normally open so it shows green there's nothing connected to it I'm going to try to move this over so you can see both at the same time all right, so if I connect pin number 20, which is ground, and then watch this indicator when I connect pin number 14, you can see that it turned red. If I plug it in, it's red. If I release it, it's green. Plug it in red, release green. So that shows you that the function of the home limit switch is, is working correctly and this won't put it into a a triggering mode where it resets because it's a home switch if i go to diagnostics i should also see it for m uh, m3 home so if i do it again you'll see that m3 home lights up because that's engaged and if i release it you'll see that it it doesn't light up anymore so that shows that the configuration is is correct for that and all I've done is gone to the plug-in control, pulse engine settings, and made sure that this is inverted. And even if it wasn't inverted, it could be red. And if I plug it in again, now it's green. So now it shows that it's a, a normally closed state because right now it's closed and it's green. And if I release it, if the limit switch was connected as normally open and I clicked it or normally closed I mean when I clicked it it would be red as in engaged because it is an open circuit now now I'd like to show you the scenario of wiring up the actual switch so if you look closely here let me see if I can get a better close-up here get this out of the way you'll see that it has several states you can put it in the normally open state or the normally closed state and then you have one for the return or common, which is generally connected to ground. So this is connected ground, and then this connects to either the normally open pin or the normally closed pin. So I'm gonna use the normally open side because this is what the customer is using. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect a wire like this. I'm just gonna connect it loosely to the, to the switch for this demonstration. And the other end is gonna have a wire ferrule that will connect into a terminal strip and the reason why I'm using a terminal strip is because I am using ribbon cable since this this board mainly uses ribbon cables for their connectors so I need to strip or remove the insulation for pins number 20 and pin number 14 somewhere around here so I'm going to go ahead and do that this is pin number 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 okay so this is the one I need so this should be 19 through 15 here and then number 14 and normally you just strip all of these wires and connect it to a terminal strip but for this video I'm just going to do one I am going to be using a wire ferrule for this because it's going to make the connection better and Putting a wire that's this thin inside of a terminal strip is very difficult. So what I will do is I'm going to fold this in half to double the surface area. So it'll fit with the wire ferrule a little, little bit better, a little more snugly.
and make sure that you tug well on these to make sure that it's a good connection. Okay, these are... I don't want to put them in all the way because there's not enough room for both sides. Okay, that's secure. Okay, so I'll be using the normally closed, or I'm sorry, normally open. I'm just going to do a temporary connection here. And the other side, calm. This should generally have a quick connect connector or soldering them right on the leads. So this is ground, and this is pin 14. Okay, so let's go ahead and the other side of this cable is just one of these. I have lots of videos on how to put these connect these cables together. So you're just putting the the cable inside of this connector. First going in this direction and making sure that the the red wire is on the number one pin and then you're going to fold it back and add this strain relief to the back so you have this configuration where this serves as a strain relief for the cable. Right, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and now we have the, the home switch. Let's go back to Mach 3 see if I can get this all in frame and if I go to the plug-in control, like last time, you'll see that it's red. I'm going to invert it because it's normally open. And you can see that it switches on and off indicator. You want to make sure that this is external dedicated. You have lots of options to assign the pin that you want, but Generally, if you're going to be using pin number 14 for the z-axis, you're going to want to use external dedicated. And you can also go to the Pokies I.O. status and go to the open status here. And when you click on it, you'll see that the home for z is also toggling. The indicator is toggling. And let's go back to the diagnostics. And you'll see that M3 home is not lit up. But when you do this, it is lit up. So you can see. In this video, all I've done is started Mach 3. I created a completely new profile. I added the plugins. I added the plugin for the Pokies. I made sure that the invert emergency stop was, was inverted So because I don't have one connected at the moment. This is external dedicated, inverted for normally open, and you can check to see the status. So you're not going to be able to have anything happen essentially with the exception of looking at the diagnostics with the home switch because the home switch is only used through the ref all home sequence so when you press this button and Z tries to go up to the home position that's when the switch will be used I hope this helps thank you for watching